happy vlogmas day two. Happy vlog my ass day two. Those. Um, Dad's here. Say hi, Dad. Hi. <laughs> and we are taking him to go see Alicia's billboard for the first time for him. This is my like 30th time seeing it because anytime I go to downtown, I see it. I just see it constantly. Even Ollie was headed downtown and he literally texted me all kinds like, Alicia, oh my God. I just yeah. gasped. He was like, I happened to look up for my phone and there it was like there lit it was. up yeah. at night. And I was like, oh at my God. At night it's super lit up and like, there's been multiple times that I passed it during the day and at night now, and mm -hmm. I'll just, I'll even forget, and I'll get like super close to it and be like, oh wait, I think, and then I'll turn and it's there. Everywhere Are I go. Are you excited? Yes, I sure am. I even texted mom, we're on our way. Oh my Thank God, you. Dad just left, so sad. He was so happy he got to see Alicia's billboard. We just pulled up to Sephora. We're gonna do some shopping. What do you need? I need a primer. I still want that Charlotte Tilbury foundation. Oh, I never got they it. They might have, they didn't shade have, now. They didn't have my shade. I still want the like refi. I think it's only online from what I saw. Mm, we'll see. <laughs> Time favorite primer, go. I really do like that Makeup Forever one. Mm. Wanna hear how you like the chicken wrap? So good, right? Quick Sephora haul, everything that we got. I went in wanting a bunch of things and I ended up not getting exactly what I wanted. How many did you get? Four things. The main thing that I wanted was the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Foundation. This is like a very thin, very dewy foundation that a bunch of TikTok girlies use and I've always wanted to. Every time I go, they don't have my shade. This is my third time trying to get it. Still didn't have it. I ended up getting the mini size in my shade. But that's nice because you can I don't know like. If you guys can see that. <laughs> the beauty guru. But that's nice because you can try it out because if you don't like it, you don't want to waste a whole foundation. Exactly. This was Alicia saw it in the like, you know, when you check out the like cheaper mini aisle, that's where she found this. And I'm actually glad because now I can like test it first and see if I even like it. I am out of primer. So one size, big fan. I've used that for a while. Alicia confirmed I should get it. It's a good one. I was gonna get the Charlotte Tilbury uh, contour wand because I love it so much. However, I feel like I'm on a Patrick Ta kick right now. I'm obsessed with the blush that he has, the blush duo. And I have the contour brush. So it just felt fitting to get the contour palette. This is the She's Statuesque. I don't think I've ever seen that word spelled out. I love this so much because it's a cream and then a powder on bottom and then the color is just beautiful. I feel like that says a lot for you to like buy that. I know. How much you like the blush. Yeah, I love the blush so much. I've been using it regularly. I'm so very excited to try that. I'll try that out at some point, hopefully this next week. And then I've been wanting to try this for a while and I was worried that my hair is too straight to be using product like this, but then I saw, what's his name? What is it? The hair guy. Chris Appleton did a video where he did it on a girl with straight hair and it just looked glossy and beautiful and so shiny so I was like perfect I'm gonna try it sometimes this stuff can be like too much for my hair it because it's so straight required to activate product you know how some yeah so it's like fresh out of the shower section your hair spray it dry heat activate so anyways I'm very excited to try this I got a few things honestly a lot of these are like repurchases the first one being my brow pencil because I just go through them really quick you've been on a Patrick talk kick. I feel like I've been on a makeup by Mario kick interesting and I almost got one of his blushes but I was like no because I bought another blush but one thing I have been wanting from him is his concealer brush and it's always out and there was one left so I was like wow. okay the vlogmas Done. gods have spoken. I need this. So I got that. I got deep throat blush from NARS because this is another one that I haven't used in years. And I was like, I want this. Love it's just this. like the perfect, yeah. like, it's really light. And I've been into light pink, like light eye pink. makeup. I've light gotten... pinks are great with brunettes. Mm -hmm. They look so good on brunettes. I truly have gotten so many compliments lately on my makeup. And I've been wanting a blush like oh. this to match it. It is stunning. Again, I had this years ago. It's just been a minute. Yeah. Um, And then I got my nearly neutral blush from Rare Beauty because I went through 
through the whole one. This is the cream blush, not the stick. I like this one better than the liquid blush stick. Really? I like I the think compact I've... cream one better. Honestly, it looks so good. So I got that. And then the last stuff I got are two lip glosses from Glossier. I've had both of these and they really are some of my favorite lip glosses. And when I saw them, I was like, wait, I was obsessed with oh, these glosses. Oh, I remember those, yeah. The ones I had, they sent me like five years ago, so they're I, old. I'm pretty <laughs> like sure. They're old. I'm pretty sure, I, I think for a date night or something, you let me it's borrow the, the, shimmer, um, the, the shimmer and I really liked it. I was gonna decide between one and then I was like, just get both. Just get both. Like, just get both. Just get both. That's what I got from Sephora. <laughs> okay. My vlog also won't see me taking a nap. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, I feel old. Oh, uh, same, but we gotta go. Getting rid of all the like Thanksgiving orange and all of the pumpkin fall orange colors in the house, starting with this. Now, I don't know if you guys remember when Alicia and I went to Target, but I got this greenery and I think it'll look perfect in here. These are from the Hearth and Hand collection at Target. They were $14.99 each. Alicia very much wanted me to get the one with the berries and I disagreed. We went all green. I just, no, I thought you would want that. No. Look at how pretty. Wow, gorgeous. Look at how pretty it is. I'm obsessed. The vase is all of Atelier and this is yours, Lita. It was definitely one of their collections from last year, but I feel like they have stuff like this all the time. And I know that they do online stuff now too, so you could probably find something similar to this. And then again, these are from Target. Cute! Christmas. Oh, I will say the pomegranate brings that red pop that the berries would have brought if you got the branches with berries. What's the matter? What are you talking about? You hate my, you hate my decor no, idea. I love it. <laughs> Getting rid of all the last bit of all the little pumpkins that we have in the house. So sad. Here are all of the trees I showed you guys in yesterday's vlog. I had these at my townhouse. Um, I think these are all from Target. This is from Target, these two wooden ones. And then these ceramic ones, yep, also from Target. But I thought we could make a cute little Christmas tree section here. Um, we used to have a table like this in the living room where I would do this and we don't have that there anymore, so I feel like this is the next like best spot. Cute, but like don't love. It's missing something in the middle. Maybe some greenery, but I feel like we also have a lot of greenery going on. Maybe a garland? I don't know. We are, however, going to be switching out my all-time favorite scent. All-time favorite scent. Leaves from Bath and Body Works. I'm gonna take a last, one last sniff. It's weird how much joy this brings me. We're switching it out with uh, Bath and Body Works sweater weather. I know there's other candles out there, but I just, I love these scents. I can't get over them. I went to light it and then I saw that the wicks are way too long. Um, so we will be trimming those. As you guys know, I'm a big scent person. I love my perfumes, my body lotions, candles. I love diffusers. I love anything that makes my home and my space smell incredible. Obviously, I love all types of candles, but specifically the thing with Bath and Body Works is it's very nostalgic for me. I feel like I'm in my nest fragrances, candles era. It's a little more like grown up, a little more chic, a little more classy, but something about these, which just makes me feel like a kid again during the holidays. Like I, I specifically shop at Bath and Body Works the second it turns fall through the winter because I want my specific scents. Fresh Balsam's another one on there and obviously crisp apple. But sweater weather is such a classic and it kind of smells like Abercrombie men. That scent when you walk into the store, ugh. Smells amazing. Yeah, it's definitely still missing something, but I don't have anything here to fix that. So I'm gonna have to keep my eye out. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Okay, I'm losing my mind right now. Lush just sent me a package. I haven't gotten a package from Lush in such a long time. Talk about nostalgia with Bath and Body Works and Lush. That used to be what I spent all my money on. So nostalgic, wow. Spread kindness, confidence, and courage. Inspired by Snow Fairy's mission to spread sweet holiday magic sparkle inside and out with these lovely products. One of the things I love the most about Lush, not only is it like a, a super like natural, a good for you product, but 
the people there are so sweet. They brought me to Vancouver. Wow, that must have been like six years ago. And I actually went to the Lush store and we got to make some jellies and like try out some of their products and it was so much fun. And it's just like, ah, oh, again, it's just, it's so nostalgic, but look at how cute. <laughs> Here is a picture of what's inside, all the products that are inside. I guess the whole thing smells like a soft cotton candy scent which is lovely. It looks like there is a groovy fairy bath bomb, a snow fairy body lotion, a snow fairy roll bubble bar. I used to love the bubble bars. And then a snow fairy shower gel, which is just ugh, so kind. And now that I'm realizing, I'm realizing this is fully, fully wrapped to like give away to someone. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put this bow back and this will be the first present under the tree. And I'll think of someone to give this to. Thank you so much, Lush, for sending that. Wow. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my God, we didn't open my advent calendar today. We have another advent calendar. This is from FabFitFun. This is so fun. This is also massive. It's a 12 day advent calendar, which is perfect because this is 12 days of Vlogmas. So that means we can open one and two. Oh, wow. Day one is Laneige's Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Cleansing Foam. Gently and effectively cleanse skin while removing makeup residue. I love Laneige. I'm so excited to try this. Was not expecting that. Let's go ahead and open day two because it's Vlogmas day two. Ooh, Grace and Stella. It's like energy drinks for your eyes and eye mask, anti-wrinkle and energizing eye mask. I absolutely will need that at some point, probably around day six, halfway through this. <laughs> so excited for another advent calendar. And that reminds me, we need to go open up the YSL beauty advent calendar. Here we go. Day two. This is hard one-handed, let's see. All right, we have a mini YSL beauty eye pencil. This is in the color black. And I love stuff like this for like that little smoky wing to put over my eyeshadow. I really feel like I've gotten good at doing wings with eyeshadow and I need to get better at doing it with a crayon. So this is actually perfect. And I love travel size. Guys, look what Alicia did. <laughs> it's honestly incredible. It's breathtaking. I'm so tired. I feel like I've never felt this tired during Vlogmas before, maybe a little bit last year, but I'm exhausted. Maybe it was the early morning workout, but that's normal for me, so I don't really understand what's happening right now. I do feel a little sluggish and a little headachey, and I'm very behind in my water. So I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna drink this and tell you guys a little story time. Alicia probably told you guys this, you probably heard about it in her vlog yesterday, but we were robbed two days ago. Yup. So I told you guys yesterday that we have had workers here all week long. They have been putting in a brand new security system. Our old one was getting taken out and a new one was getting put in. The timing of all of this was really weird because we got robbed while the security system was down. I woke up on Thursday at 7.30. I had a workout at 8.30. I was dragging my feet and sitting in bed for way too long. And then I heard the alarm go off. And I'm like, that's interesting. No one's here. No one should be setting off the alarm. And then I hear people walking on the side of the house. And I realize, oh, it's the workers. They're here already. But then I'm like, how'd they get in? So I turn off the alarm, everything's fine. And then Alicia's assistant tells us that they are saying that when they got there, the garage door was open and all of their tools and all of the cameras from the security system, all of the cameras that hadn't gotten put up yet were missing. And then it looked like someone rummaged through our garage. I was like, okay, sure. Like clearly there's some like communication happening between someone and someone and someone knew about all the stuff that was sitting in the garage and our security system was down and we didn't have footage of anything. But then I check our ring cameras because we also have ring cameras and it took me so long, but I finally spotted it. Ollie came Wednesday night to hang out with us and when Alicia went to let him in, she forgot to close the garage door. Meaning she left the garage door open all night long. And you know, I can't really blame someone for stealing stuff out of a garage door that's just wide open. It's not okay, but I'm also like, well, I'm not shocked in any way. Luckily the garage door that leads to the house 
was completely locked. I actually double checked that myself going to bed on Wednesday night. Um, so we were totally safe. And again, the alarm system was on the video camera footage, however, was not there. But we were able to watch ring footage of this guy just going ham, just, just taking laps, like cut, walking in, walking out with a bunch of stuff, coming back, going back out with a bunch of stuff. Um, most of what he took was the worker stuff. Alicia and I don't keep a lot of expensive things in the garage or nice things in the garage per se. He did take an old skateboard of hers. He did take obviously like a lot of the tools that the workers had, all of the security system equipment, all of the cameras, that was really expensive. So that was like thousands of dollars worth of stuff that we're gonna have to sort through and figure out. Alicia had a DJI like stability cam holder in the garage in a box he took that which that's not super that's not as expensive as a security equipment but still like it's a good like $500 I think she uses that for like filming days and stuff like that it was super sad he did take a pair of binoculars that were my grandpa's that I actually left in the garage I didn't think anything of it. I was like, oh, we'll put it with all like the camping gear because that was when we used it last. It was when we all went on our family camp trip with my boyfriend and I left it in the corner with all the camp stuff and he took it, which is a bummer because those were my grandpa's. And honestly, like that sucks because they were really, really broken. It was more of a like nostalgic thing. He took my sister's power washer and I think think that's it but yeah so most of it was the security equipment and honestly I can't even be mad at him because the door was wide open <laughs> Alicia feels horrible but it's really it's not her fault the garage door has been kind of slow and kind of like glitchy like you press it and it won't go down you have to press it a few times so it could have happened to anybody and all I'll say is karma's a bitch and he's probably gonna have a really horrible year this coming year so Really hope he enjoys those binoculars. Anyways, that's what happened. We are so grateful that we're safe and we are so grateful to have a new security system up and running. Thank God. Plot twist, we are back in the car, but not my car, Alicia's car. We, and by we I mean her. I'm here for, for support, emotional support. Are gonna go test drive a car. We're in Alicia's old car. And she wants a new one. Obviously you guys already know she got rid of the Aston cause her lease was up. So thinking about another car, but decided to put it on pause and like bring back her old car, which we love. I've saved so much money the past few months. I, I mean, I can only imagine. Like so much money. But she has been looking at other cars. So off to go test drive a what? A Mercedes. I test drove a Porsche with mom that I liked, but I'm not fully sold. And then I'm just feeling slight pressure because they're like, there's only like two left and they're going quick. Yeah, and I'm like, and it's the end of the year. It's the best time to buy a car exactly. is this year. Exactly. So I know this is a big investment and commitment. Mm -hmm. So I'm not planning on actually buying one today at all, but I want to test drive and see if I like it. Yeah. 100%. 90% of what I'm looking for is something that's good in my vlogs. Yeah. Like, like I love how bright the windows are in Henry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But that's because the there's no, tent. There's no tent. Like, I just like seeing, I don't like when my last car was too dark. Yeah, I totally get that. Do you? I can tell. I just like it felt more like me. 